iglesia que camina en comunión, participación y misión. Una iglesia que camina en el amor del Señor, una iglesia que se escucha con el corazón abierto. Bienvenido a Estela Maris TV, es un placer saludarle desde este estudio principal. Me encuentro acompañada de su excelencia, el Cardenal Mario Greg, Secretario General del Sínodo de los Obispos. Es un placer, una bendición contar con usted acá en Estela Maris TV. Muchísimas gracias por esta visita de amor al departamento de Izabal y en toda la República de Guadalajara. Sea bienvenido a este estudio en donde muchos laicos católicos pues están apreciando este diálogo con su persona. Bienvenido. Cuéntenos sobre esa visita especial, ha, vi, ha caminado diferentes comunidades del departamento de Izabal, lo hemos observado con bastón, Botas de hule llegando a lugares muy alejados de este departamento, también montado a caballo. Estuvo en Quiriguá, en Livingston, en Los Amates, en la aldea Río Salado, estuvo en Entre Ríos, en diferentes sectores del departamento. ¿Qué le ha parecido ese acercamiento con los izabalenses? It is a blessing for me that I have been here for a week. Perhaps a week was too long because it was um, well planned and uh, but the various encounters I had with the communities um, were were such you no know, were such deep uh, experience that I really need time to digest um, what I have been through. Well, your area, um, the area of the parish, and not only parish, but of Isabel, is quite extensive. And um, it gives the opportunity to meet different people with different traditions and different cultures. For example, you, you mentioned no, uh, my visit to Livingston or my visit to the um, Rio Salato no? um, with the Maya uh, community. So, although they are present on the same territory, I mean, they present different worlds. So, in a way, it was... I wouldn't call it a shock, but it was a very, very dense encounter. And each time I had to uh, fix my, my, my glasses in a way so that I could read the reality uh, in an objective way. I need time to adjust my glasses, you no, know, um, to be in a position to read in an objective way um, the various realities. When I say I try to read the uh, various realities on different levels, on the human level, on the social level, on the spiritual level, well, in a, in a few words, it has been a very, very rich uh, human and ecclesial uh, experience. You underlined my visit to uh, Livingston you now and to the uh, Maya community. Something that really um, struck me is that although these community, communities are in the periphery, you know, especially those at uh, Rio Salato, you know, which are at the heart of the jungle, yet I discovered that they are full members of the church. And I was surprised that although they are 
living in those remote areas, they did engage in the synodal process. I can tell you that what I experienced from the synodal uh, point of view uh, in these areas, I did not experience in Central Europe. Well, I had the opportunity to lay my hands on human experiences, which are really human. Because was many a times we try to hide these people and these realities. So when I I visited some families, no, who are in a very poor condition. For me, it was, well, it was revealing also. In what sense? It reveals the injustice uh, that we have in society. Because in this, uh, in our age, you know, how, we, how can we uh, permit that a good number of people live in substandard uh, conditions. But at the same time, it was revealing in a positive way because although they have nothing materially, they lead a simple and happy life. At times, they seem to be more at peace than those realities where people have everything. And reflecting from the um, Christian point of view, realized how uh, the social doctrine of the church is important even today. It is a treasure that we still have to discover and to translate in everyday life. Su Excelencia Cardinal, sabemos de que en la misa de bienvenida el martes usted dio a conocer de que el mensaje que será trasladado al Papa Francisco será que en Izabal ha encontrado a una iglesia viva, algo que nos llena de gozo, nos llena de mucha alegría. ¿Qué lleva a su corazón de Izabal? Well, this is a very difficult question because in my heart I'm going to take with me very um, lot of very positive uh, elements. I noticed that you are a people, no? you are a Christian community, that you really pray during the liturgy. You really, your people really take an uh, active part in the liturgy. There is a good number of Christians who are committed who do have a ministry in the church. And what is really striking is that most of those present in the communities are young people. All these are positive elements that um, not only are to be appreciated today, but I believe that they promise a future for your church. Something um, particular that I noticed was that people are very generous. They are ready to share uh, with others, not only met material help, no, to offer their energy, no, their talents at the service of the community. So these are, again, um, positive elements no, that should be fostered. El camino a la sinodalidad es el camino propuesto por su santidad, el Papa Francisco, en la Iglesia, en todo el mundo. Como secretario general del sínodo, usted piensa que las iglesias particulares, ¿cuál es su sentir que 
¿Las iglesias particulares sí están implementándolo o es un camino que no es tan fácil? Bueno, la primera fase de esta sinodal journey va a terminar en mid-August. En mid-August, en nuestra oficina en el Holy Sea, vamos a recibir the reports from every particular church, from every diocese. Only then, perhaps, we would be in a position to say how many really got involved, uh, engaged in this synodal process. But during my stay uh, in your church here, I received various signals that really confirmed that your church, your people, have been involved in this process. In a meeting I had with the various um, parish councils, no? I think there were more than five, seven parishes, and they presented a very interesting report, the result of a consultation that was carried out in their community. A similar report, um, I received it from the Catholic community at Rio del Sal, pressed not only with the report, but how the report was presented to me. And this uh, shows, confirms that the scene of the process will continue. Once uh, these groups, these people um, got involved in this process, I'm pretty sure that they will proceed, will go forward with the same attitude. And this is the fruit of the Synod. Cardenal, usted es lo más cercano que Isabel ha tenido en estos últimos seis días al Papa Francisco. ¿Qué mensaje nos da de su santidad? Well, before I left Rome, I had a meeting with the Pope. I normally meet him once a month because of my office and I mentioned to him that I was going to embark on this uh, pastoral visit, that I was um, going to visit Guatemala and the Honduras and with his enormous smile you know, he assured me that it would be a positive ecclesial experience. I think that he was in a position to give me this assurance because he comes from Latin America. And I must say that although I am uh, in the middle of this pastoral visit, I can confirm that he was right. What the Holy Father would tell you as a church, I think he would encourage you to go forth uh, in this synodal process. And he, will, he would also remind you that during the last synod for bishops, which was a special uh, synod for the Amazonia, no? he will tell you, please, go and read again Querida Amazonia. You are not part of the Amazonia region uh, exhortation that really would help you to continue working in the church. In Querida Amazonia, there are uh, certain insights that can be perfectly applied to your situation here. Obviously, I think he would tell me, remind them to read also another encyclical that he wrote quite recently, uh, Fratelli Tutti, no? Because Fratelli Tutti and Synodality go together. Muchísimas gracias por este tiempo que nos ha dedicado en el departamento de Izabal, un verdadero regalo de amor para el vicariato apostólico. Ha sido una bendición contar con su presencia estos últimos seis días. Su agenda está concluyendo este día en nuestro departamento. Muchas gracias por ser parte de este diálogo acá en Estela Maris TV. Gracias a nuestros televidentes en las empresas de cable, a nuestro director, al padre Anton Grech, a toda la producción. Muchas gracias.
el mensaje para la familia isabalense? Well, the family is the foundation of society and of the church. And I noticed that you still have at heart the values of the family. Don't forget that the family is a small church. Something which really um, struck me was when I entered into a particular house, a family, and I noticed that they had the, a corner dedicated for prayer. Your families are families that still treasure the value of prayer. If you have a strong family, you will have a strong church and a strong society. Su Excelencia, un honor haber dialogado con su persona. Le agradecemos muchísimo este tiempo y, por supuesto, muchas bendiciones en su visita en la República de Guatemala y en Centroamérica. Que Dios le bendiga. Thank you very much. que camina en comunión, participación y misión, una iglesia que camina en el amor del Señor, una iglesia que se escucha con el corazón abierto. Let's